it's storming out. Jeez, it's 88 degrees in here. I'm gonna go to the store and see if I can find, I don't know, some sort of machine to cool this place down. These things suck. Well, I couldn't find anything I wanted, so I'm gonna do something. Just found out there's no ice in my freezer, so now I gotta wait for that. But I was going to put it here and then maybe blow some cool air out, but I don't I don't know if that would work. Anyways, this video is really about to just update you guys on the collection. I kind of reorganized some stuff. I put like all the Dark of the Moon stuff mostly together there. Uh, first edition deluxes went over there. Uh, but basically, I'm gonna be getting a lot more, uh, maybe not a lot more, but a bunch more toys here that I'm gonna be putting on these shelves. So I'm gonna probably reorganize the Star Wars stuff and put it over there. All right, all that's moved out. Uh, can I, I put it in the same exact position as it was over there, over here. So now we got the Jurassic World stuff, Star Wars, Halo and Assassin's Creed, and then uh, some Turok, a little bit of Call of Duty and The Walking Dead over here. Yeah, actually, I, I, did, I just took the, the Star Wars pack from over there and then I moved it over there as well. So now I gotta find a spot for that one. All right, I think this is probably the best spot for it if we're gonna keep all the dark of the moon stuff together that doesn't look too terrible i guess actually i think i might actually move those over there scoot those deluxes over there and then i'll have more room for my generation stuff that's coming okay i just did like a whole bunch of reorganizing everything kind of just got moved uh cleared up about two shelves worth of space up there so now you can see the legos that hold up everything all those but uh all the generations are going to be kind of over here got all the dark of the moon stuff kind of together over here uh did the best i could uh but yeah anyways you know a lot of this is dark of the moon deluxes a little bit of animated down there got some crossovers here i've shown these off in my apartment tour video but i'm just giving an update on what i kind of added i don't know if i want to go through every specific thing but i got stuff like this little scout here uh universal snarl Got, I got a little bit of everything on the top here. Nothing's really like uniform. I got like Armada, Energon, Cybertron, Universe, more Energon, Beast Wars 2 or Neo. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then Universe there. Uh, otherwise, just a bunch of generations. I got my Prime Deluxes here. And of course, I got the Voyager Bulkhead over here. But that's uh, not together with these guys anymore. Uh, got some Scout Classes, Robot Heroes thingy right there. Uh, and then... It's a little bit of some uh, power core combiners, which I do have. Uh, it is crankcase with Destrons, and I just recently found out he is a repaint of Huffer here. I never even knew that. Uh, there's a backstop. Remember, I think I got him at Family Dollar because Family Dollar used to have cool toys, and now they just have uh, stuff like this. Um, and 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 that. And those two back there. <laughs> On the other side, I got all my Godzillas and King Kongs that are brand new. I mean, I have a whole lot of toys that are already open. This is just a brand new collection. This is what I actually have room to display. Right here, this is this is one of those uh, Godzilla vs. Kong pop uh, boxes that I kind of just took out of the Walmart store. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll do something. Yeah, this, is my, this is my Devastator with the upgrade kit. Uh, anyways, this is all Godzilla and Kong. Everything here is brand new. Like, these figures, they still have their tags and everything hanging off of them. Uh, back there, uh, this is a toy that I got at a comic book store in Lansing, like right next to the Capitol building. Uh, found that at a thrift shop, that VHS. There's a pop there, vinyl crap. And then you got the uh, Monster King series Godzilla 2017. Got two of these bobbleheads back there. You got all the Godzilla vs. Kong 2019 stuff. Here's even the 2014 Godzilla. I don't have the Muto though. But yeah, you got stuff for the movie, 98 movie, all of Playmates' new semi-failed attempts at Godzilla toys. And then you got my trash in the way. Okay. A uh, little bit of Generations here. Now, I'm not a big fan at all of the packaging for this era of Transformers. When you look at these, 
Like these are pieces of art. Like look at the packaging for this. It's moon themed. You got literal craters in the package. They pose the vehicles epically. And over here, it's just a black rectangle with a sideways Transformers logo. So I don't know how these things manage to even stay in the box because these aren't really my favorite kind of Transformer boxes to display. But the, the I guess, I don't know, maybe I just thought the toys look cool. Like that Megatron is awesome. It's nice and silver. Ultra Magnus, that one's cool. That one's cool. I'm not sure why I didn't open that Starscream. Maybe it was because I like the crown or something. Yeah, you got Alpha Trion and Star. Soundwave down there. Soundwave. And the only reason I have these was because I got them all $4 each, except that one, which I got by mistake. Uh, all four of these, actually, three of these Voyagers were $7 each on sale. I got the Optimus for full price because I liked it that much. Uh, Bumblebee there. Just a little bit of a little bit of everything. Got Beast Machines, Armada, Knockoff, Devastator. Uh, you got some G1 reissues. These were the Walmart ones. And then there's a... Uh, Transformers Prime stuff, and then there's a couple of like movie exclusive ones down there. Uh, here's where basically all my knockoffs are. That's like all down here. There, there's a ton of stuff buried in there that I'm not even going to get into. Uh, uh, there's some cool stuff though. And then these are just some small Transformers, just a whole bunch of everything. Uh, got some G1 reissues from Walmart here, and some other stuff that's just hanging off the side you got some q transformers right there i got those from ages three and up at botcon i forget which year though it was probably i don't know it was either 2015 or 2016 i don't remember uh more g1 reissues uh and then everything on top of here has been opened before except for these like little these little baggies and then these ornaments and then you got these figures here who have the tags still and then of course there's that one uh, otherwise everything in here I put back in the box and I'm just like displaying it so that's really about it in terms of uh, what the collection has been up to and how it's been growing uh, filled that up over there now I got my room for my new ones and uh, I'll probably be doing some unboxing videos for those so that'll be fun and I will just set them right up there and it'll look pretty sweet it is so hot in here um, anyways, this video was kind of prompted from uh, a response to a comment that I made on one of these YouTubers that I've been following for like 10, 11, 12 years now. Uh, his, his channel's name is The Choice Voice now. Uh, the guy running that channel is Michael over there. He collects Transformers just like this. Like he will, he will keep them in the box and display them just like that. And I used to watch his videos like 11 years ago or so and uh, I was like wow I've never even thought of that like to keep them in the box and put them up on the shelf that looks it, it looked really cool to me so I started doing it uh, around when these were new so 2010 and that was long ago enough to actually still be able to get animated toys off of uh, HasbroToyShop.com so uh, that's where that Optimus came from and then we got that on sale the swoop so it was it was the tail end of the animated line and it was when that was just starting and of course that's why i got a lot of a lot of those and a lot of dark of the moons that was when i was kind of just starting and then age of extinction came out with that packaging and i don't think those are very good display pieces because it doesn't really show off like the aesthetic of the movie because hasbro was starting off with this new sideways logo stuff and they just put up a plain little number four poster up in the corner so it doesn't really resemble the aesthetics of the movie so i didn't bother collecting a lot of those and keeping them in the box and again the only reason i have the last night ones was because they're four dollars each and those were seven dollars each up there uh and of course the bubbly movie didn't really have its own good toy line the good stuff came out in studio series and i don't have a single one of those in this collection brand new because again they're just the packaging is just a bunch of black rectangles so it looks really boring and dull doesn't really pop come on hasbro if you make better packaging i will buy two of each of your toys just do it hopefully they'll do that for rise of the beast but I can pretty much guarantee that those toys will not be very good and the package will not be good either and it won't be that exciting. Hopefully it will be though. I just I just miss the days of uh, stuff like this where everything looked cool and it was appealing. Even if the toy wasn't that good, they made it look good. And I do have a little bit of a display over here. Got the Cobra Kai soundtracks, some figures, some cups, and an action figure. And a painting I had to do for college. So yeah, I'm going to figure out what to do with this thing. I don't know what, I don't know where, maybe I can set it on that heater, but that's probably not a good idea. Uh, but 
yeah, I was just uh, kind of inspired to do an update on these things since uh, I, I was watching an old video of uh, Michael's uh, from The Choice Voice. Basically, it was, uh, it was called Shelves and Transformers, where he would kind of just show off his all the toys that he kind of put up. And I left a comment, and I basically said, you're the one who inspired me to, to collect like this, and I have a whole room full of these things after 11 years. And he basically said that that comment like moved him to do a little update video on his collection, and he showed off a few that he had in his man cave, you know? So, I don't know, it was, it was nice. It was nice to see that he still collects, you know, after all these years. And, uh, yeah, I figured I'd just uh, show off what I got so far here and there'll be more to come and in terms of the Godzilla toy battles uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for Mecha Godzilla and Warbat from Godzilla vs Kong and as soon as I get those I'll, I, I will be making another one it's just I can't find them anywhere at all and I've been to a lot of damn Walmarts <laughs> so yeah, anyways thanks for watching I'll be making some more videos soon probably some unboxings of some more uh, Transformers that I'm going to be putting up on this shelf and it's, it's going to be pretty packed and it should be looking pretty epic. See you later.